Humorous examples of ambiguity. In the English language, there are four kinds of ambiguity. And as we'll soon see, ambiguity is the main driver of a lot of humor. The first kind of ambiguity is called phonological ambiguity. Two words that sound the same, that's the phonological part, but mean different things. That's the ambiguity part. Phonological ambiguity is the main driver of playground riddles and dad jokes. What did the beach say when the tide came in? Long time no see. Why is six afraid of seven? Seven, eight, nine. What building in town has the most stories? The library. The next kind of ambiguity is called scope ambiguity. This is when you have a modifying word followed by two nouns. It's ambiguous because you don't know which of these two nouns is modified by this modifying word. The first noun or both nouns. For example, if I say chocolate, cake, and ice cream, is it chocolate cake and chocolate ice cream? Or is it chocolate cake and a yet to be determined flavor of ice cream? To create humor or a brain fade in your listener, set it up with a modifying word and two nouns so you kind of have an idea of what they will assume the meaning is, then add more information that will force them to do a mental double take and reevaluate what they think this means. Yesterday, I went to the park. They had free beer and hot dogs. Now, it sounds like the free goes with both the beer and the hot dog. So most people would assume there was free beer and free hot dogs at the park. But if you add more information to contradict that assumption, it will make them do a mental double take. Yesterday, I went to the park. They had free beer and hot dogs. The hot dogs were $10. What? Yesterday I went to the park and I saw a lot of smoking mothers and babies. I didn't think babies were allowed to smoke. Yesterday I went to the aerobics class at my gym. We did jumping jacks and push-ups. I didn't think they had jumping push-ups. The next kind of ambiguity is called syntactic ambiguity. Consider the phrase modifying nouns. Are these special kinds of nouns that run around and modify things? Or is it the process of modifying a noun? To create a funny feeling in their brain, use the same process as before. Deliver the phrase, give them a couple of moments to decide what it means, then add Add more information that will force them to go back and reevaluate their initial assumption. I used to have a job juggling people, but I hated it. So I quit and I learned how to juggle. Now I hang out in the park juggling bananas with all the other juggling people. To really stretch their brains, come up with two phrases both which leverage the syntactic ambiguity and put a cause-effect sounding phrase in the middle. Operating chainsaws can lead to growing problems. And if you are going to grow problems, you better go down to the nursery and buy some growing supplies. But if you do have an accident in the process and you need to go to the operating room, I would recommend getting operated on by a doctor rather than a chainsaw. Finally, we have punctuation ambiguity. This is when you have the last word of the first sentence become the first word of the second sentence. Sentence number one, truck stops are a great place to get omelets. Sentence number two, omelets can't be made without cracking a few eggs. Combine them together. Truck stops are a great place to get omelets can't be made without cracking a few eggs. And if you practice this, you can add plenty of these sentences together to really confuse people. Truck stops are great places to get omelets can't be made without cracking a few eggs are getting more expensive because of inflation is going to ruin the economy unless somebody does something to stop. This is getting very confusing, isn't it? That's it, kids. Four simple examples of linguistic and ambiguity. Practice these and have a lot of fun. If you practice enough, you might one day be just like James Bond, who according to Money Penny is a cunning linguist. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment. To learn more, please visit mindpersuasion.com.